Good evening or good morning or good afternoon whenever you choose to watch this video much appreciate it this is just going to be quite a quick video um, going to a coin shooting site that's been pretty much bashed out and I'm going to be comparing the signals between the mine lab e-track and the XP Deus basically I'm going to be starting with one detector say the Deus go around find a signal bring the e-track in, find the same signal with that and compare the readings, compare the numbers on them too. Then I'm going to give that information to you guys so you can see where say ring pulls read on a Deus compared to on a e-track. XP Deus, Mine Lab e-track. They've both got the same size coils on so they're both running on 11 inch coils. I'll write the programs that I'm using in the video description and I'm going to start with one detector, find a target, pick the other detector up which will already be switched on, ground balanced etc etc and see what that detector makes of that target. Then I'll swap detectors, find another target, bring the other detector in and carry on like that. Hopefully I'll make some reasonable finds although I am in an area that I've absolutely hammered. But these new settings that I've got on here should produce something. Hopefully I'll find some targets. And when I do find those targets, whatever the machines tell me will give some bearing on which one hits the targets best. Very clear signal. Reading 1342 with the E-Track. 1842. Might be an old halfpenny or possibly a penny. It's reading 1242 there. That's normally where big silver hits, big copper coins, or it could be a big lump of lead. E Trax says it's a good target. Bring the Deus in. Reading between 83 and 85, which seems to marry up with what that's telling me. 85 to 86 that way. It's a good target, definitely a good target. Very shallow target. There we go. Just as I suspected, an old penny. Uh, that one's George V. 1932. This one was picked out by the Deus. It's reading 63 to 64. Um, 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 uh, I think it might be a ring pull. I'm now going to check that with the E-Track. It's either 1122 or 1222, depending on which way I go. And that's really ring pull territory. But if I was in an area where I was expecting to find hammered coins, that's a good hammered coin signal. Could also be a ring signal as well. So it has to be dug. Both machines gave good, clear responses. Pfft. 
It is indeed a ring pull, one of the beaver tail ones. So that hit exactly where I would expect it to hit on both machines. It was a shallow target, so I would have expected them both to get that. Eleven twenty-six, twelve twenty-seven. That's very consistent. Definitely a diggable target on the E-Track. I'll have a go with it on the Dios. Seventy-one to seventy-three. Sixty-four to sixty-five that way. Definitely a diggable target. Very loud with both machines, so I'm not expecting a deep dig. <laughs> it's actually right on the top. Looks like a little fitting from an airline or something. Right, next target will be found with the Dios. This is with the Dios. It's reading as low as 65, but it's jumping up to about 79. So it may be a good target, it may not. I'll give it a go with the E-Track. And I think we'll zoom in a little bit. Eleven twenty-one. Thirteen twenty-one. It might be a decent target, and I would like to think that it's a threepenny bit. But it's hitting where ring pulls hit, so it's most likely to be a ring pull. Looks like we've got a coin ball here, and it seems exceptionally large. Ah, it's a little button. That was approximately four or five inches deep. Eleven sixteen to twenty. 116. It's jumping up and down on the E track. Not a particularly good signal. Again, if it was where I expected to find hammered coins, I would definitely dig it. But I think it might be a small lump of lead, possibly a knackered part of a ring pull. Check that out with the Dios. Dias doesn't really want to know about this. It's reading between 28 and 44, jumping about. So I wouldn't dig this one with the Dias, I probably would with the E-Track. So it remains to be seen what's in this one. What looks like a tiny little shirt button, about four inches down. This one's reading high 70s on the Deus. It's quite an exciting one, this one. I just, I just have a good feeling about it. It's a nice, bold, strong signal. So I'll bring in the E track and see what it has to say about it. Ten thirty four. 1435, that's the readings on the E-Track, different ways. There's a bit of foil or something there as well. I knew where that was straight away. It's quite discoloured. Possibly a hairpenny, but I would like to think it's a little bit of silver. Oh, little coin ball. Up, oh, it's a hapenny. What date's that? Nineteen eighteen, by the looks of it, and that's a George the Fifth hapenny. Both machines gave good diggable signals. 
and it was only approximately three, four inches down. Back to using the E-Track now. Very noisy signal here. Reading 1421. 1122. Give that a go with the Deus, see how that compares. Reading between 72 and 61. And it's a ring pull. Next target with the Dios. Hmm. It's reading mid 80s to early 90s, which is a good signal. Kind of guessing at old penny, possibly big silver, maybe, but maybe quite deep. I'll try that with the E-Track. Twenty-four thirty-two, so it's reading quite far down on this. And it's jumping right up to the top. I would probably dig it, thinking that it was a musket ball, because it's bouncing straight up and down. But it, it's not given such a good signal as the Deus. Both diggable signals, but the Deus is hitting in the right place for a good find. You know, I thought that was actually a little spinner from a put and take game, but it isn't. Tiny little piece of machinery. The Deus gave the best signal on that one. 12.22 both ways with the E-Track. Mid to late 60s with the Deus. <laughs> it's right on the top. Just a compacted lump of foil. Hmm, Dios is reading late 70s, early 80s. But it's also dropping way down to 40 as well, and it's not making that good a sound. It's still a diggable signal though, I would definitely dig it. Seems to be hitting around about 14, 16, but on the E-Track it's jumping right to the top of the screen as well, so it could well be trash. I would dig both signals, but then again I dig practically anything. Tiny little, oh, I don't know, thick washer or something. Very small, approximately four inches deep. That's with the Deus, a nice, reasonably clean, loud signal. Reading late 70s to mid 80s. This 
just jumping around a little bit. 127. 23, 28, that's reading way down. 13, 31, that's a good signal. 15, 26, that's a diggable one as well. It's more diggable than not diggable, so I would have dug that with the E-Track. I would definitely have dug it with the Dios. Looks like another tiny machine part with a screw thread. 12.32, it's all looking good with the E-Track. Yeah, late 80s, early 90s with the Deus. <laughs> well, this is a little pen knife and it's got the name of the shop that it was bought from on and I recognise it. Ah. What a nice thing. Coronation Souvenir GR. So that's George the Fifth. No, it won't be. George uh, could be the other one. Could be George the Sixth. Possibly George the Sixth because this is still in pretty good condition. It's a Coronation Souvenir from, uh, and I'll have to read this on the screen. J J Cresswell. Radio and Sports Goods at Hexham, which is about ooh, five miles that away. And I think that shop's still going. At least if it isn't going, it was going when I was at school, uh, which admittedly was quite a long time ago. So that would have been like a little pen knife, possibly with two or three different blades in. That's quite an interesting find. Before I sign off, I'd just like to ask anybody who has a channel that they would like to promote if they've got a short clip that they use at the start of their videos or a channel advert or something like that they want to send me, I'll use it at the start of my videos. I've gone through about 20, 25 and I'm coming to the end of the ones that people have sent me. So I do need some more of those if you want to promote your channel. Send me the link or send me the video attached to a message. However you want to do it, send it to my email address if you want, which is pondguru at btinternet.com. I'll write that in the video description. And I, you know, I just like to help other channels and promote them because there's a lot of good channels out there that just don't get the recognition they deserve. So I like to promote them. I like to 
give their details to you fellas who are watching. Now, as I was filming this, I was using the E-Track, then the Deus, and a thought occurred to me. I'm not going to tell you what that thought was yet. You'll see that in the next video. But from this point onwards, I started utilizing a different method for finding the targets on this site. I then took that method to another site and filmed that. Unfortunately, it got interrupted by rain. But these two short hunts together should give you a flavor of this new technique, which to my eyes is unique. I've certainly never seen it before, but it is extremely productive. It basically makes the most of both detectors. The Deus is good where there's a lot of iron contamination. The E-Track is very good where there's a lot of coke contamination. Some of you will guess where I'm going with this. Most of you won't. It's a fairly off-the-wall technique, but you will see that in the next video, so watch out for that one. Thanks very much for watching. Try that with the Deus. I'll try that with the E-Track. What different targets? Um, oh, this is a silly sort of depth now. But it's got no weight to it whatsoever. And it's made of absolute crap. But it fooled me for a second.